Hi beauties and curls, welcome back for another video. And today's video, we are gonna be doing my makeup while I answer some frequently asked questions about my hair. So if you're interested in this video, if you're interested, then keep watching. So I wanted to do a natural hair Q&A because I said I was gonna do one. You guys, thank you so much for being so supportive in my first Q&A. Kind of nervous, but I'm glad you guys loved it. So I did want to come with a natural hair Q&A. These are the frequently asked questions in terms of just my hair. Um, or in terms of a beauty. This is a beauty Q&A because I get a lot of questions. We'll just make it a natural hair um, Q&A. And if you have any more questions, comment down below. I really enjoyed doing these. So the first frequently, we'll start with frequently asked questions first. So the one of the first frequently asked questions is what made me want to go natural? Um, I had a relaxer. I would straighten my hair. Why like curly all of a sudden? First of all, the curiosity of how my hair looked. Um, I remember seeing one of my uh, friends Curly Kimmy Star, and I saw her hair and I was like, it's gorgeous. I thought she was wearing a wig and she was like, this is my hair. Hair is gorgeous. And she stopped getting a relaxer and looked so beautiful. I was like, wow. So it totally intrigued me. Thank you, girl. But I decided to go natural because first of all, I had a lot of heat damage. I had a whole lot of heat damage, bad ends. And I just, I wanted to start over. So I started letting my hair grow out, not using any heat whatsoever. Boy, was that hard. And the other question that I get is, so that was the question of like why I went natural. I wanted to, it was out of curiosity, but it was also out of like wanting to see my hair healthy at its healthiest state and just seeing you know, starting something over. It's good to change things, you know what I mean? I am all about changing up your look, changing up, you know, things to just keep it spicy. I'm one of those people, I like to keep it spicy, okay? So the other thing is, and the other thing is, um, okay, so that's the end of that question. Get out of my stuff. Say hi. Hi. Why are you in my stuff? Let's put some clothes on, okay? <laughs> really, Joseph? This is what I gotta deal with. <laughs> 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 how did i figure out glycerin was the devil i do have a video on that i'll link it over here but glycerin is not my friend at all um what else i was going to tell y'all another okay another question that i get how did I figure out I was high porosity? I do have a video coming. I've already filmed it at the Ipsy Studios and I can't wait to show you guys that, but it talks all about hair porosity, but, and how I found out. But all in all, I know that I'm high porosity. I did the shower test. I call it the shower test. Getting in the shower. If your hair does not go, if it doesn't go wet as soon as water touches it, then you, you're either normal or low porosity. My hair went wet as soon, any type of mist, my hair is going into, I'm coming out. That is the Diana Ross, like I get the big hair. So, and don't get me wrong, it is big hair, but her hair look fly. My hair looks like girl, Felicia, bye, okay? Yeah, my hair does not like, my hair doesn't like glycerin. And I'm high porosity. I do get, how do I moisturize and seal? I also have a video on how I do that. I'm trying to 
do videos based upon my frequently asked questions. I have fine, thin, high porosity. It is like medium density and density refers to, huh? His what? I forgot what I was talking about. This is not a frequently asked question, but I'm going to give you a, like a fun fact in terms of me. In terms of hair care, because hair can be so finicky, I do not like doing first impressions. You can see it, how it's on my hair, but um, if I do, let me rephrase that. If I do a first impression, I'm going to come back and tell you guys my overall thoughts because I feel like it's kind of unfair. The whole purpose is to help. Reviewing is supposed to help people make decisions, not to influence them to go buy the products. Like every product that I like is just an archive, you guys. It is not designed for you to go purchase everything that I say that I like or my hair likes. It is an archive so you can guy so you guys can determine what products you should. It's just it's supposed to help you know, determine. I'm kind of like using myself as the guinea pig before you spend the money. You know, you can come to this channel and you can check out the review. You can see how it looks on my hair. You know, you can ask questions. That is what my channel is de de designed for. You know, don't go and get every single product that I say that I like. Because a lot of this are brands asking me, do, do I like it or does my hair like it? And that's the thing. I like to say that my hair did or didn't like something. It's not necessarily a personal thing where I don't like it. It's if my hair doesn't like it. And then, of course, the scent, you know, can I implement it in my daily routine? Those are the things. But, you know, if a product, if my hair doesn't like it, I'm not going to use it. You know, that's the whole purpose. My hair has to love the product. You know what I mean? Hey, I also get how many um, big chops have I done? I've I've lost count, honestly, you guys, but I've done at least three. I think I was about to do a fourth when all of this craziness started happening to my hair. And I don't want to say it's the full cul culprit, but I feel like I've kind of found out what I was doing wrong and it was two things. It was wash and goes and the products. Duh. I mean, but you know, it was something that I wasn't paying attention to until I started realizing that my hair loves stretch states of like, that's how it really thrives because my hair is really coily. And if you didn't know, sebum can't not travel down. People with straight hair, usually have really long hair because, and I don't want to say just because of that, it has to do with genetics too, but sebum, it plays a part because sebum can't travel down a curly strand versus one that's straight. Just think, sebum can reach further, which nourishes the hair. If you notice a lot of people, which um, that's the reason why we tend to have dry hair and they tend to have people with straight hair tend to have uh, it to, to be oily at the scalp is and that also has to do with genetics you can't say everything but it does play a part let me put it like that it does play a part so let's go into makeup I am going to do a couple of videos in terms of some reloaded ones like things that I've done in the past that I feel like needs an update on my channel because it's good content that I have but just needs to be updated you know what I mean man poor this just looks so good on this skin
don't know. I'm, you know what? I don't know why. Like, I'm drawing a blank right now. Okay, another question that I get is like, what ingredients do I look for? First of all, I don't look, uh, I look to see if glycerin is in a product and how far, y'all gonna be going shopping with me soon, but how far it is on the ingredient list. I also look for oils and products, you know, and the types of oils. I definitely look for that. I also look for things I can't pronounce. I used to do that, but you know, it's time to get back to some basics. I used to only get products that I could understand the ingredients. If it was one or two, I would look them up. I got lazy. And I feel like that can really mess you up because you want to know it's, you know, I really want to know what I'm putting in my hair. And yeah, kind of messed me up that way. I look for my shampoos. I prefer them to be sulfate free. I do look for dimethicone depending on if my hair is curly. I don't like using cones as much, but I will use them. Like I do have a silicone base conditioner in my hair right now. I also look for alcohol. My hair does not like alcohol. Alcohol will dry my hair out. I do look for products that I can use year round too. I'm kind of over like spring and summer or whatever. There are some exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, I want to be able to use my products year round, which is the reason why I try to keep, the reason why I try to keep um, glycerin out of the products. Oh, okay. Another frequently asked question is how do I like the order in which I apply product? I try to say that in every video, but y'all know it doesn't happen all the time but I follow the lock method which is liquid oil cream so first I will use a water then I will use an oil and then I will use my leave-in and then I'll go in with a styler so really my acronym is locks l-o-c-s that's how I apply product and the lighter the product the better for my hair because it doesn't have as much product build up and everything okay so I'm pretty much done with my makeup I'm just gonna put on a lip lately I've been rocking my makeup with no mascara no lashes uh, do I want any lashes today probably not but this is my hair and I've already like I put some, a little bit of oil on it, but I think I'm going to put some moisturizer. I'll link down below what I have in my hair, but I'll tell you I have the Curl Junkie Curl Queen and that was my gel. My leave-in that I put in first was the Curl Junkie, not Repair Me, y'all know the other one that I love. The strawberry, what is that? So you guys are going to see me moisturize. Ooh. Just taking some. I have the Aussie Moist. I did an Instagram Live, Instagram Story. No, Instagram Live and showed you guys me applying this in my hair super creamy i am coming with a review but yeah this is how my hair is looking this is in my hair on sunday so this is i never count the day that i do my hair as the first day actually i guess i should 
So this today is Tuesday, so this would be considered. Let's see if we. I guess it's day one, or is it day zero? The way you. This is day two hair. Which I like. It's not flat at all. Oh, we're gonna do some fluffing, and I have a pick in my hand. And now I don't even have a mirror. Oh, I mean I have a handheld one. Let's use it. Oh, yeah, because this side is flat. Yeah, I have a lot of frizz up in here. I'm testing that product. I think it does have glycerin. So if you want to see how glycerin does on my hair, that's it. See? My hair is never that poofy, usually, when it's glycerin free. But I don't mind it today. I'm actually gonna wash it out. It does contain dimethicone, but for the most part, I still do like it. I feel like it's important to keep like at least one shampoo with SLS in it, sulfate, so it gets all of like any silicones that are non-soluble out of your hair and I also think it's important to keep in a leave-in conditioner especially if you like I like silicones when especially when I'm straightening my hair because it does it's like a form of protection so it protects it from the heat and it makes it shiny so I don't mind silicones but I also feel that cast on my hair so I do not like how this is looking, but I just wanted to show you the condition of my hair. This is probably not a product that I would use like every single day, but we'll get into that in the review. It's a nice product, I just don't think that it's for my hair. The shampoo and conditioner is for curly hair and I don't like to use curl enhancing products when I'm straightening my hair. But if you have curly hair, like sulfates, your hair loves dimethicone, I feel like that this would be suitable with someone with wavier hair, like wavy curly, or like large curls, and they have fine thin hair and they like that type of thing. But my hair does not like it, and their hair likes glycerin. If your hair likes glycerin, you probably would like this and if you're okay with silicones. I would just say that's the biggest question that I know I'm gonna get about this product, but this is day two of the Aussie Miracle Girls. That's how my hair is looking. So I hope you guys enjoyed these frequently asked questions that I just answered. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, loveys.